my name is Chad Matthews. I'm the director of the FSU Circus, and I've been working with the circus since 1998. Then, if I could change one thing about the facility, what would it be? That's probably the hardest question you've asked so far. <laughs> um, because there's a, there's a there's many things that that we would want to change, obviously with the facility. I think um, uh, it's hard to really narrow down. I have two major ones. Um, second, I think okay. So two, for the two major changes I would make the facility for one is size. Like we just have we've outgrown what the initial uh, I guess intent of the facility was, um, and the facility's old. Uh, so it was built in in the mid '60s. Um, at that point in time, the whole complexion of the program was different, and so um, it probably met the needs of that time. Um, since then, we've, we've grown considerably, and just the operation has changed in a way, and, and as such, the demands of the facility have changed. So, we, we average around 100 students every year that participate in our program, and uh, as we've seen, the, the facility is simply inadequate for that. We have to be efficient uh, with how we use the space, um, and it's, it's always been the case. That, and since I've been involved, it's always been this way. We've always had to. We go through different phases of the year: uh, performance phase, rehearsal phase. Um, we take the tent down, all those things. So we have to use the space in in really uh, a variety of ways. So as such, we have to move things constantly and reorganize. So. Uh, Throughout the course of the year, we're always, and even in the span of one of one week, we are we are tearing down equipment and moving it to create space for students in this way. Um, we just don't have enough room, so we're always having to to move sp things into storage and out of storage, um, and setting up equipment, tearing it down, uh, collapsing things where we can. So it's just basically maximizing floor space where we can, um, and you have to be creative in those ways a lot of times. And um, we're pretty good at it, but there are limits, but we, that's, the, that's kind of a, uh, pretty much a constant. Second, 1B, I would say even, is air conditioning. The, the climate control aspect is a pretty big, a, a pretty big um, factor in a new facility, and our existing facilities too, because we're, we're doing a, a physical endeavor. They're working in um, what for most of the year seems like extreme heat. Like we're just dealing with a lot of heat throughout the course of the year, just the way our calendar works. Um, we're working through the summer with our summer camps, we're working through um, all of fall, which half of fall is pretty warm as well. So they're doing, and they're, while they're doing this, our students are working um, in acts that are in the air that's actually hotter as you, the higher you get. So, so it actually is hotter than normal. In 50 years, how do I see the circus? Wow, that's um. So. I would say my perfect view of the circus in 50 years is one that has um, a more established, uh, more permanent uh, facility for sure. I mean, we, we work out of a tent, and that is that is great. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a nostalgic portion of our operation, we've had it for a long time. I think 50 years from now we probably would want a more permanent uh, performance venue for sure, and along with the facility. So that's the, the, the facility portion is, is pretty uh, pretty crucial. But I'd like to see in the future, I guess, um, uh, circus being a place where it's, it's perpetual. Like it's not, it's not, um, it's a permanent, has a permanent place on campus.